So you want to go to Santorini. This is our first glimpse of the Mediterranean Sea and our first time being in the country of Greece. Come with us as we explore a side of Santorini we couldn't have possibly dreamed of. With its towering red cliffs, white perch villages dotted on every corner, we found ourselves at a loss for words. This may just be the most beautiful place we've ever seen. Welcome back to another video with us, Benny and Mika. You could almost think of this as a guide. A guide for what you want to see in Santorini. Because what we saw was incredible. Good morning from sunny, sunny Santorini. We have woken up in our beautiful little villa here in Frikia. I think that's how you say it. And we're about to go and explore Fira. It's the main hub here in Santorini. We're about to get on a bus and explore everything this place has to offer, including a Greek feast, some awesome viewpoints, some beautiful churches. So yeah, let's get into it. Beef fritters are insane. This is so much flavour. And then with this vegan feta and salad, it's like a zesty freshness on the side. Absolutely divine. Well, that was one hell of a feast, eh? Hey? The Greeks know how to do it. Feeling very full after that, though. We've got a fair bit of walking, though, so we can walk the calories off. We're gonna have a look through a couple of little shops along the street and then go to the main square. So, just as a reference, our lunch came to 66 euro. We ended up paying about 70 euro with a tip. The people were so lovely and so deserving, so we're happy to give them that. And we also got free cake, so I'm pretty stoked. Okay, so we are just in the square now. There's heaps of little alleyways that can go off and the shops are so beautiful and unique. They have the most incredible things, but you definitely want to bring your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit pricey. <laughs> but we're just making our way up. There's just beautiful alleyway. alleyway. You can't help but go off and explore it because they're so enticing. So we were just talking about how far we have not travelled. We yeah. <laughs> just had a look, it's just over 15 minutes away from where we had lunch. Yeah. We've been walking for like two and a half hours now. <laughs> and it's only 1.2 kilometres we've travelled, but it feels like we've gone zigzag through every alley. But that just shows you how beautiful this walk is. It's like, this is impressive. I can't believe that this is our life and we so, feel so <laughs> grateful that we get to experience this. It's such a blessing and just taking in these sights is incredible. It's the little moments that matter. So I think we are going to get a wiggle up. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a, another village just up here. I think it's about a 10 minute walk. We did read online on the blog that it's super beautiful. So we're going to go check that out.
look at the architecture. We've got a beautiful dome roof, a very comfortable looking bed. Ah, yeah, that's the hugest fan. And then we've got a little cute space to hang our clothes, some shelving area, a little to your makeup station, perfect for us ladies. This is divine, come see the shower. This is the cutest thing. Look how big this is. This is so nice. And it's so pretty outside. So, one random situation is we got here and no one was here to check us in. We got lost because we had no data, we had no internet. Some kind gentleman helped us with our bags down these stairs and it is steep here in Greece. We got to the hotel, we tried calling Nobody answered and he goes, I'm guessing this is your room, check yourself in. I was like, is this how it normally works? He's like, pretty much, they're probably at the beach. So we're just in the room. It was the only one with a key in it. So we're guessing this is ours. I hope it's ours because it's beautiful. <laughs> but I'm so ready for an ice cream and some lunch. So we've just got some more sorbet. It was 11 euro for four scoops in a cup. Pretty good. And I got vegan pistachio sorbet, and then this dark one is a coconut one. Oh, it is fine. Oh, mine's dripping. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. It's unreal. All right, so to give you a bit of context, we came on the same street to have lunch in Thera, and we paid 21 euro for two kebabs, some chips, and a drink. Whereas uh, yesterday, we went for the whole Greek feast and it was 63 euro. So you can eat cheap here, so nonetheless, I didn't realize I was having an extra dessert. <laughs> we're gonna be jumping on the bus and we're gonna be going on another one to Red Beach now, which is a little bit further off from where we are staying. And I think it's gonna be pretty nice. That might be a bus there, but we should get going. Ready, let's go. Right, we've just walked back from Red Beach there. It is scorching. We've decided we're not gonna do the boat tour. It's 15 euro per person for the round trip. It used to be only five euro. I confirmed it online this morning, but it looks like they put the price up maybe because it's peak season. But we actually don't have enough cash either, so we're not gonna do that. But we're gonna head back to the heart of Santorini, which is like a cool looking cave, and then probably go to spend the afternoon back in here because it's stunning and that's our favorite spot. We wanna soak up all of the vibes there as much as we can before we head off in a few days. Let's go. All right, so we had a bit of a whoopsie daisy. The bus driver didn't say the name of where we were planning to get off, so we missed it. We ended all the way back up at theatre, so we're back here exploring. It was completely unplanned, but that's just what happens sometimes. We think we're gonna spend sunset here. It looks 
pretty beautiful. We just found a whole new area that we haven't explored, so I think we're just going to roam the streets. This is how we've decided to start our day. We've beaten the grounds and it is so worth it. We have come to Blue Dome Lookout here in here. It's breathtaking with those colours of the sunrise. It's magical. <laughs> it's all just painting the mountain. This feels wow. like a dream come true. Like we're living out our Chris card life like it is incredible if you come here you have to come with sunrise because otherwise you're going to be finding for a spot that this is stunning <laughs> Right behind me is the Ea Castle. It's just perched up over here. It's actually a more of a ruin. It was destroyed, but it's the perfect spot to come for sunset. It does get very crowded, so that's why we've come at sunrise. The backdrop is just stunning everywhere you look. We're kind of just weaving our way through the little, I would say, maze. It's just like a little alleyway here, alleyway there. And every time you turn a corner, there's something new. And I think everyone who's up this morning is just so like ease that you can move because during sunset time these are crowded where you're squishing through like a school of sardines so this has been really special getting up early and coming in and enjoying spectacular views. Just down here is well where Ea Castle is you can see some steps and this leads you down to Amudi Bay and it's a total of 300 steps so we're going to be getting our steps up today some people do take the donkeys down, but this is my one message if you take something away today would be please don't ride the donkeys down. I feel like it's really unfair because they're just lugging people up and down all day and if you could be one less person to do it, I feel like that would be a really special thing. Alright, let's go to the next spot. Okay, so we went home, had some breakfast, had a bit of a chill out because that early sunrise, we haven't been doing that in a long time, so it's pretty rough. But we are making our way down now to Moody Bay, the all 300 steps. It looks very beautiful and enticing down there. It's very hot today, so we can't really wait to be able to dip in. Okay, so to get down to a Moody Bay, there's three main ways. One being you walk down here, not for the faint-hearted. It's very slippery, so make sure you wear clothes and shoes. Two, you can get a taxi from Ia and go down here and you just land near the little port where the boats pull up. Or three, you can come by boat. <laughs> That's the other one, boat. If you're a bit bougie or you're staying on like a fancy yacht or something or if you're staying somewhere else, I think you can get a boat because there's lots of people going in down here. But yeah, pick, a, pick your choice. We're walking, not the hard way. We're showing you the affordable way to do Sandrini. <laughs> You've also got to be careful because there's a lot of donkey shit. There's so much donkey shit. You're in a farm, farm barn? Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I'm so keen to get in that water. Like, let's go.
Had a nice little spot under the shady rocks here to try and have a bit of reprieve from the sun because it's, yeah, it's one of those temperatures that'll cook you pretty quick. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a quick little scramble down these rocks. They are very jagged and very hot, so it's going to be by no means graceful. <laughs> I'll try and give you a woohoo on the way down. recommendation actually definitely yeah. bring reef shoes because or just some sneakers that you don't mind getting wet in because it will save you a ton of grief later on very brace on my arm oh. you alright? Yeah. so we were just seeing where we were for sunset yesterday we were over at this rock over here it's Skogos, is it? yeah that tiny little one well it looks like it's tiny but it's actually huge so that is where we were attempting to walk from. I think we made it halfway on the hike, so we did go past it. We never made it all the way back to Ia. The full walk, the coastal walk from Fira to Ia. It's, it's definitely a bit of a journey and you've got to allow a lot of time because we allowed like three and a half hours or so. Yeah. And we didn't even make it halfway. There's just so many places to stop off at. <laughs> You're up. Skinny thoughts getting through there. <laughs> I did see online afterwards that some people will leave up to 10 hours and that just goes to show that people will stop. If you're someone who's just doing it for exercise, like a bit of review, not taking heaps of photos, I think you can yeah. probably get it done in about 3 hours. I'd agree, but you may already know it about us, but we are very much into photography and we like stopping off and taking in the views wherever we are. So if you like us, definitely allow enough time. <laughs> We have found that it's the best excuse to be able to get out there for an adventure. If you're ever yeah. feeling like a little bit unmotivated, pick up the camera. Pick somewhere random to go out in nature or the city or whatever your interest is. Uh, and like also it gets us up early, doesn't it? It really does. And it's the best time to be out when it's the start of the morning doing something you like. But on another note, I am starving. So let's try and put a mile in and get up there. I'm pretty excited for this restaurant we're going to. <laughs> We couldn't help ourselves, eh? The walk did it to us. I said it, I called it. Got two scoops of chocolate. What did you get? I've got chocolate and fig, which very nice. I really like the fig. Alrighty, so we are off to dinner. We're going to Karma and I'm very excited.
So we've just finished up. How good was that? The food was divine. We went with George's picks. He gave us some good selection there of traditional Greek food. I can't remember the name of it. It's pronounced pretty lengthy. Sutsukakalia. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we had like roast vegetables and like a chick pea kind of dish with tomato and rice. But those people were so nice. He took our little email address and our names and he's going to save us a bottle of olive oil that he's going to make himself and we're going to collect it next year when he has his own business. So that's really exciting. I think we're going to head home now. We are buggered. It is 11.07 at night. And that pretty much wraps us up for our vlog here, doesn't it? Yep, that's the end of Santorini and we are heading off to Naxos tomorrow. So see you there. Bye! Bye.